Hey guys, welcome back to Briary. Aubrey and Joe here. And last time, or a couple of weeks ago at least, we talked about uh, pipe shapes. And we made pipe shapes look really simple. Here's a pipe. It has a bowl. The bowl does this. It's called that. Moving on. But the world is not that simple. There are nuances and details that make the world of pipe shapes an incredibly frustrating little universe. And that brings us to the Canadian family, which I think isn't near as difficult as Joe makes it out to be. It only took us three or four times to make sure that we had it right when we were setting up for this video. But finding the pipes was a true challenge, y'all. Much more difficult than you would imagine, even though our inventory is so large. Uh, shameless plug. But that being said, the Canadian family is one of my favorite pipe shape families. Um, it just has everything that I want. They're straight, the shanks are longer, and I'm gonna go into why that's important later on. But these pipes and this pipe family is special to me, even if some people say it's needlessly complicated. Okay, so let's start with needlessly complicated. Shall we? Let's. The bowl on the Canadian family is typically supposed to be a billiard pipe. So you have four variety of pipes and they're all supposed to have a billiard bowl. How do we get into those distinctions? A billiard bowl has a small four canter and a taper up to the top. Now why these four might be different is basically the, the shank shape, along with length, it needs to be a longer shank, the shank shape and the stem style. All right, so I think you nailed something there. Four pipe, different pipe shapes. They all have a long shank. So right now, you've got, they are all supposed to have a billiard, and they're all supposed to have a long shank, and yet we still get four of them. That's fair. That's, that's a fair complaint. But I find that variety is the spice of life, my friend. Um, <laughs> so, without much further ado, let's go ahead and start it off, and we'll start it off with the most well-known of these, these uh, pipe shank family. It's the one it's named after. The Canadian. So, this one's a Mark Tensky Canadian. I'm pretty sure we've done a promo on this if you want to, you know, be able to get a better look at it. But as you can see, you have the billiard style bowl right here. You know, slight four can't taper up towards the top. You have the long shank. And what makes this a Canadian is the fact that it is an oval shank with a tapered stem. Tapered meaning that it doesn't have that pinch or uh, the, I think, in old English advertisements, it's called the waffle stem, but it's just a saddle bit, it's just got a pinch. So this one would be the Canadian. Oval shank, tapered stem. So, going off the uh, oval shank, so I got this cold stream, made in England, it's one of our state pipes. Oh, uh, that was a Parker second. Oh, it was a Parker second, all right, there you go. And it's got the oval shank, but it has a saddle stem. So this is a lumberman. Now notice, the only thing that changed between my lumberman and his Canadian was the stem. His has got a tapered, mine's got a saddle. Did I mention needlessly complicated? Yes. Although this one did get a little creative and add a volcano shape bowl. Yeah, so. the bowl's not technically correct. It was very hard for us to find all the varying shapes uh, because Pretty much everybody either wants a Canadian or a Lobat. Um, yeah. Checks out. The next one we have on our list, I have two versions of it. One that I'm smoking, one that I'm going to show you. The one that I'm smoking is a more classic example, but I do want to show you this one because it's a Becker and I like Beckers. Uh, that being said, is the Liverpool. So, the Liverpool is categorized by a round shank and a tapered stem. That is the difference. You still have the billiard bowl with the Ford can. This one, as you can see, has a slightly different bowl, but you still have long shank, short stem. That's, uh, that's the Liverpool. So Got it. So the only difference between that pipe right there and that pipe right there yes. is the cut of the shank. Yes. That one's oval and this one's round. Clearly. Clearly. These are very different pipes. 
Very different pipes. Okay, all right. If I grant you that difference, this is a low vet. Has a round shank and a saddle bit stem. So the only difference between this pipe and that pipe is this one has a saddle stem. A white a waffle stem. And, and if you'll remember, the only difference between these two pipes is that this one has an oval shank, this one has an oval shank, and this one has a round shank. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of the Canadian family. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Well, all of these have their slight variances in how they look, right? They're, they're, they're slightly different. But at least there must be some rhyme and reason to the names. Maybe there's some history behind it. And the answer to that is there isn't. So we spent a very long time trying to look into this uh, and, and find the reasons that this is a Liverpool named after the city in England. Right. It has absolutely no, this wasn't like a popular shape in that city. In fact, that we, that we know. That we know. The, the next one, the Lobat. Named after a patronage, a peerage in Scotland. Which, no connection to whatsoever. It's not like they smoked those pipes there. Did, did a particular Lord Lovat like these pipes? Your guess is as good as ours. So, when we were looking at all this, we were like, we really have to know. And every one of these, it started with, well, the choice of the name is kind of controversial. This may be the reason why it's named that, but we really don't know for sure. And it was all of them. Yeah, yeah. It, it the history of these pipes came down to, eh, Pipe Carver was asked to do this, so he did it. Which Pipe Carver, you ask? Solid question. Yep, no, you got it. Let's take one second uh, to talk about the practicality yes. of these. Uh, we did leave that out because we wanted to just go ahead and knock out that whole shape and stem nonsense. Uh, don't get me wrong, still one of my favorite families of shapes. But one of the reasons why you might want a Canadian, for one, is the longer shank has a, a tendency to handle moisture content better. It tends to dry out the smoke a little bit more. Yeah, your brighter's going to be a little bit more porous mm -hmm. than your <coughs> acrylic or vulcanite stem. As the smoke travels up the shank, it has a chance to cool off and lose a little bit of that steam factor. Not only that, but with the longer shank, you kind of get the, uh, the smoke out of your face as well. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of getting a little bit of that you know how some people say when you clench a pipe, the bent keeps the smoke out of your face? I don't know how that works, considering that it makes the smoke physically closer to your face. That's one of my problems with that. But some people say it. Uh, this one makes them much further out. No smoke from my face. I agree with you. No smoke from my face. One other uh, practicality that I'd like to add is because of the billiard bowl, you have a nice uh, cylindrical tobacco chamber, which is really good for packing. Uh, ribbon cuts and uh, ready rubs. Yeah, that, that checks out. So, this has been the Canadian family. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't as difficult for you as it was for us to make this video. I'm sure it wasn't as difficult for you as it is for me. I, I, or at least I hope not. So, go online, check out some of our different Canadians, Lumbermen's, Lovats, and Liverpool's online. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.